Hi everyone, my name is Livia. I'm one of the physician assistants at the Bellevue Bariatric Surgery Program. I will be talking to you today regarding weight regain after surgery. So, as you know, most weight loss is lost within the first year and a half after surgery. Some patients will regain weight around three to five years out from surgery. The most common causes of weight regain include eating, overeating, eating too fast, eating the wrong foods, and not exercising. Now, we encourage each and every one of you to make a follow-up appointment so we can help you through this process. The phone number is 212-562-5555, and we could do televideo visits, phone visits, and we can see you in person. We wanna help you get through this, and we wanna get you to your goal. So please call us, 212-562-5555. So number one, eating too fast. We want you to take your time eating. Spend a half an hour to eat a meal. The faster you eat, the more likely you are to stretch the stomach and regain the weight. Even if you are 10 years out from surgery and you've been eating a meal in 10 minutes, if you slow your eating down, you'll notice that you will consume less food. You will get fuller with a less amount of food. So take your time. Number two, make sure you're choosing proper foods. We want you to focus on the protein in the diet and we want you to eat the protein. We would like you to stay away from juicing or pureeing any fruits, vegetables, or anything like that. No green shakes, no smoothies, eat the food. So protein is gonna be eggs, yogurt, beans, lentils, fish, chicken, ground chicken, ground turkey, hummus is a great source of protein. Now bear in mind, some of these things are also a carb. The beans, the hummus, these are also carbohydrates. So we can't have you mixing the two together, okay? We wanna minimize the amount of carbs and the sugar that you bring into your diet. So high sugar fruits like oranges, bananas, we want to minimize these. We're not saying you can't have them, but have them infrequently. And definitely no juices. No juices, no sodas, no natural juices. If you want a piece of fruit, we want you to eat the fruit. There's natural fiber in the fruit that makes it more beneficial for you. Once you puree it and juice it, you're losing that. Um, Make sure that you are focusing on the protein three times a day. Get two portions of vegetables throughout the day um, in your diet. So vegetables that are gonna be high in carbohydrates are gonna be corn, um, it's gonna be the potatoes. So we wanna minimize these things. Focus on the healthier foods out there, the broccoli, the cauliflower, carrots are better, things like that. Okay. Some of you have asked us about doing the liquid diet again to assist you with, to re jumpstart your system and help you to lose the weight. This is definitely a possibility. We can do it in the short term, but we would like to do it under our care and make sure that you are choosing the right protein shakes and eating the right foods and doing the proper diet. So please, again, reach out to us so we can help you through this, okay? Not every protein shake out there is correct for everybody, and we wanna make sure that you're taking the right dosage and the right amount and increasing your water and doing all the things that you need to do. So please call us 212-562-5555. Make sure you are exercising. So we want you to be exercising at least three times a week for 30 minutes a day. This can be speed walking, the exercise bike, walking in a swimming pool. Swimming is a great source of exercise. You can go on YouTube, do yoga, do Zumba. There's so many activities out there that are completely free and don't need any equipment. We've posted a lot on our Facebook page, so I hope you go and take a look at it. Bellevue Bariatrics and Bellevue Weight Loss. Please take a look at the pages. We've posted exercises, we've posted recipes for you. So we want you to take a look at these things and we wanna help you through the process here. Some of you have asked about medications. 
So there are some medications out there such as fentermine and metformin that do assist with weight loss. These aren't medications that we can just prescribe over the phone. You need to be evaluated. You may need an EKG, you may need vitals, blood work. So there are certain restrictions that apply to these medications. Not everyone can have it. So please call us. We can talk to you and let you know whether these medications are right for you or not. We do want to work with you on the surgery that you have, and we believe that we can get you down to the weight that you want to be. Some of you have also asked about doing a revisional surgery, either doing the sleeve gastrectomy again or converting to the gastric bypass or putting a band over a bypass. All these things are possible. Um, again, we do want to work with the surgery that you have already been through. Every time we do an operation in an abdomen that already had surgery, there's scar tissue inside, and it does increase your risk profile. It doesn't mean that we don't do it, but it just means that we wanna make sure that you are ready and you've done and exhausted all the other options before we get there. If you have any questions or concerns, I want you to reach out to us, 212-562-5555. They'll help you make an appointment or you can call our office at 212-562-3917 and speak with a team member as well. We are here for you and we wanna help you through this whole process. Remember that you need to choose the right foods, avoid overeating, make sure you're exercising, and understand that there are gonna be times where you plateau or have some variance in your weight, okay? So don't be surprised from morning till evening, after you eat or after you drink, you're gonna notice a few pounds. Two to three pounds here and there is normal. There is water weight, okay? If you have any questions, please reach out to us and we'll be in contact. Thank you so much.